I can understand some vegans are a little bit misguided, but some of them take it a step too far, and this guy is living in another dimension. Let's take a look at what he has to say. Welcome back. All right, I'm going to answer this person's question here. She says, uh, the reason that she quit veganism wasn't because she was eating junk food. It wasn't that she was eating processed or sugary foods. Her problem was she couldn't, she was losing weight and she was afraid that she was going to become too skinny. She was down to 100 pounds. She lost 60 pounds. So she quit and uh, was afraid of, of that. And I get that a lot. I get a lot from people saying that they're losing radical amounts of weight when they are doing the healthier lifestyle, the, the raw vegan thing. And that does happen and it should happen because what's happening is, and this is what a lot of people misunderstand and then they bail at the, at the at, because they think it's gonna keep going. Well, what's happening is you're rebuilding your body. Your body is designed to work efficiently and perfectly. And if it is built on junk, if your cells are built on pizza and beer and sugar and pastries and bread, that's like a house. Remember the three little pigs? <laughs> three little pigs? You know, for some reason, this guy looks like he's awfully familiar with children's stories. The one house is built out of uh, straw, another one is built out of wood, and another one's out of bricks. Well, the brick one does not blow down. All the other ones, they do. If your house, your body is your house, if your house is built on bad building materials and it comes time to rebuild your body. If you rebuild an old car or an old house or a human body, it's the same. You have to strip it down to the skeleton, the bare bones. That's what you have to do until there's no more bad, rotting, moldy building materials left. Then you have to scrape and sandblast down the skeleton, the frame, <laughs> and then you rebuild. This guy sounds like a master builder. I have no clue why he's giving nutrition advice. What is the reason he went so far into that analogy? I think it's because he can't explain a vegan diet from an actual nutrition perspective. <laughs> Only good building materials. That's how it's done right. And the body naturally does this. So if you're sending a message to your body that it's rebuilding time and you don't give it crap, you're, you're like in cleansing mode, your body goes, okay, I get it. All right, time to rebuild. Well, what it's gonna do is what you would do if you were rebuilding an old car or a house or whatever, it's gonna strip <laughs> down to the skeleton. He's back That's to the what analogy. your body is doing. It's getting rid of all the crap. And it wants to rebuild and it wants to rebuild with proper building materials and trust you that you're gonna give it that. So it will go down a lot. It, you will get skinny and some people lose hair because hair is unimportant to the body it's 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 dead matter it doesn't <laughs> care about that the body cares about life and it cares about working properly working efficiently working correctly and it will do everything it can to work correctly and properly given the right materials so people see themselves losing a lot of weight so yeah it is a great way to lose weight it is a great way to lose a lot of health problems too that's why people do it because they want to heal um so yeah, you'll lose a lot of weight. That is, you'll lose a lot. You'll look terrible. This is house cleaning time. Spring cleaning. When you do house cleaning, your place is a mess, right? All your cupboards are open <laughs> and all the one. garbage is out in your house. You don't want people coming over <laughs> to your house when you're doing spring cleaning or house cleaning. That's like when your body is going through this, you don't want people to see you. You got it. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. You cannot like lose all the bad crap that you're made out of and build good crap on top of it at the same time. You cannot build muscle at the same time that you're trying to get the, the bad foundation and the bad drywall out of the out of the system. You you need you got to do one step at a time. I'm sorry. You got to go through the ugly phase before you get to the good phase. You, while you're taking stuff out, you can't be putting stuff on. It just doesn't work that way. So yeah, you're gonna go through, it could be a couple months. It could be three months, who knows? Everybody's different. It's a phase where you just gotta go into seclusion and stuff comes off of you. You look terrible, all your friends are say, you look terrible, you look like you're gonna die. You're like, put some, eat a hamburger, right? I mean, that's just, that's just what happens. You're gonna strip down, you're gonna be really skinny. Um, and then once you feel your body is clean and you're working right, and I, everybody that does the fasting and the cleansing, they all say the same thing. I felt great. I felt like all this energy, I was clean, I was clear headed, I was just skinny. And people were scared of me. They thought I was gonna die. I looked like I was from Auschwitz or something. So yeah, just just avoid people during this time. Just, just stay away from it. <laughs>
The reason he's suggesting you avoid people is so you can stay stuck in your fairy tale world reading story books. If it takes so long to heal on a vegan diet, why does every single person that goes keto, carnivore, drastically improve their body composition over weeks and months? It's almost instantaneous. And then, this is critical. Then you start packing it on. Then you start building with good materials. Do not go to, uh, you don't go and get cheap building materials when you want to rebuild you know, a, a, a car, a house, or a human body. You want to have the best building materials possible because you, you want this thing to, to be something to be proud of. So now it's important. Now you got to do the good building materials and that is the healthy food. And so your body functions right. So let, let me get this straight. Following a vegan diet and consuming grains, fruits, and vegetables are good building materials. I mean, you, you just said you shouldn't consume cheap things, and those foods are far cheaper than meat is. You know what was funny? I launched my meat company, Frankie's Free Range Meat, and Vegan Gains said, oh, why should I buy ribeye from Frank when I could buy lentils for a dollar a pound? It's like, it's like comical stuff. It, it's really like, uh, did he just say that? Muscles, and this is what people want. They want size. They want to look like a fitness model, right? Well, I'm sorry, guys. These vegans don't want to be muscular. They don't want size. They just don't want to lose every single ounce of muscle like every single other vegan because of B12 deficiency. And why do these people that go from vegan to omnivore or even carnivore gain muscle so quickly? It's not required to work out. It's simply a lack of nutrients that humans are meant to consume from animal foods. If you want to look chiseled and, and, and really nice and, and fit, that's muscle. And in order to get muscle, you have to work out. You gotta work your muscles. You gotta send a message to your body that muscles need to be built. Because if you don't, if you don't send a message to your body that you need muscle, it's not gonna build muscle. Guys, I've interviewed so many uh, young vegan women that have gone from a vegan diet to a carnivore diet, and in a few months, without even working out, they look like they're lifting weights. Your body is only going to do what it needs to do. It's very efficient, it's very smart, it's a perfect computer system. It will only do what it needs to do to function. You're absolutely right. When you go on a vegan diet, the body is trying to survive. It's literally breaking down muscle tissue because you are lacking so much nutrition. So if you want to put size on, you're either, it's either going to be fat or muscle or water weight, which is, that's just fluffy temporary stuff. And muscle is important because you need to have some muscle. The longest living people, they walk, they lift some weight, they carry water, whatever it is they do, you need, because muscles are important. I'll speak in another video on the importance of having some muscle on your body. As you re- <laughs> What I find so funny is that this guy is talking about like utter nonsense and he's acting like he has so much important stuff to say in this video. Oh, I'll do that in another video. <laughs> oh my God, please. I don't know about you guys, but I've had enough of watching this guy, but I watched like one or two more of his videos and just in those videos, a couple of things struck me as odd. The first one was this, what kind of shirt is this guy wearing? I, you know, listen, you listen, listen, listen. You can do whatever you want in your spare time. Just don't wear a shirt like this and try to give people health advice. Because if, if someone is wearing a shirt like this, you know, they're obviously not 100% there uh, one way or another. <laughs> Issue number two is his significant other's Adonis belt. Guys, I, I follow the Olympia because I used to lift weights a lot. And I've never seen a female competitor with an Adonis belt like this. This is what got me curious. Now, when we take a look at the competitors from the 2018 Olympia, and some of these women are very low body fat, have been training for very long periods of time, none of them seem to have an Adonis belt. Uh, you know, there might be some slight definition around where, you know, the leg connects to the torso. But, you know, it doesn't seem to matter how muscular or how lean these women are. And, and these women, you know, everyone in the Olympia is using some sort of performance enhancing drug. 
So it's safe to say, okay, wait, the woman at the top of the Olympia, none of them have this definition in their midsection. So, you know, this combined with the fact that she sounds like a man. All right, and now you've got a lot, now you're a human being in the modern world, so you've got a lot of toxic stuff in your body. You need to get rid of it, so we need to help them with the enemas, right? Enemas mm -hmm. are amazing. Yes, they're very helpful. I encourage them. I wish I would have discovered them sooner. I wish I would have done them on my baby when he was sick. But better late than never. It's just water. What are you guys afraid of, you know? Okay, guys, this is just way too much. You know, not only does she have a deeper voice than, you know, him, I, that that one clip, I you know, I only watched like 30 seconds of that video. So imagine what other golden material is on their YouTube channel. One last thing to touch on is the comment section. I already knew this, but I really needed to hear it again. Thank you. Very much appreciated. <laughs> I always appreciate your common sense advice. I must say this, Marcus, you look around 35. Your word gives a lot of confidence for me. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> so true, it's like spring cleaning for your body. Love your hair. <laughs> well put, my friend. Guys, I, I I can't make this up. This is so this is so absolutely crazy. Uh, <laughs> like honestly, if I had a time machine, if if I could go back and start my YouTube channel all over again, I would have been a vegan. Because right now I'd have about four million subscribers driving a Ferrari. So. What are you going to do? You know, hindsight is always twenty twenty. So whatever you ladies and gentlemen decide to do, try not to take health advice from anyone with impaired judgment, a.k.a. every single vegan there is. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me, uh, you can check out some of the videos at the end here that I will link related to this. I also recently started a meat company, Frankie's free range meat. We're looking to provide nutrient dense foods to everyone. We're going to be doing some really interesting things and providing products that no one else has on the market oriented around increasing quality animal food consumption in the diet. So you can check that out down below. Guys, all my stuff is in the comments, my Patreon, my Amazon shop, my contact information if you do want to reach out for me for a one on one consultation in regards to improving your overall health. Outside of that, you guys enjoy the rest of the weekend.